In this short video, we will be going through how to upload a file to IPFS, also known as the Interplanetary File System, using Pinata. In Python, and for our sake, we will be using Python 3.11. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is open your browser and go to pinata.cloud. And this is just a wrapper, a simple service used to post files to IPFS. And you can see here, if you go on the pricing page, um, there are different packages. We are just using a free package, so you'll have to pay anything. And it has quite a bit of storage here. Um, so you can pretty easily see how this sort of storage solution can actually be viable for large scale applications and can be a substitute for something like Amazon AWS uh, S3 or um, Azure Blob Storage. So let's go ahead and click the Get Started button. And the first thing they're going to do is you're going to go through this uh, into your email address and go through the confirm email. And I will check with you guys afterwards. So once you sign up and confirm your email, you should be brought to this page right here of how you use Pinata. How, um, how do you, how will you use Pinata? Um, I don't think some of these options matter so much, but for our sake, we are going to say that we're uploading files through an API. It is also an option to uh, do it through the user interface and say you're not a developer. Uh, but for most applications, if you wanted to actually integrate fully with your application, you are going to want to use the API. So let's, let's click that option. So at that point, you will be brought to this page right here and it will give you a code snippet in JavaScript. Um, but for now, we're gonna ignore that because we want to use Python instead. So we can actually just click the generate API key. And that is what will be important um, for connecting to the Pinata API. Okay, so I have this section blurred out, but you should get a large um, API key it is a JWT token, and that's what you will be using to connect to the API. So you can just go ahead and copy this API key up here. Just keep it on your clipboard for now, and let's click, let's click Next. Okay, and it's going to ask us about a gateway as well. Uh, we, we can just go ahead and ignore that and click Next, and then select a pre plan as well. And Let's just say we're a developer and let's just go to let's build. Okay, so we have this set up, we have our account. So, and we have our API key. So let's go ahead and hop over to our code editor. So I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio Code, uh, but you can use any code editor or IDE of your liking. So I went ahead and created a folder here called IPFS YouTube with just one file which is the test.jpg. So we're gonna be uploading this file to IPFS. We just have here uh, Gangster Doge, and we can see, uh, so at the end, we'll be able to check to see if they if Gangster Doge makes its way to IPFS, which we'll be able to verify at the end. Let's close this for now. And let's start by actually creating a file called .env because that is what we are going to use to store the API key that we just copied. And what you're going to want to be able to type is um, pinata underscore JWT underscore token equals with curly braces and just go ahead and copy that long token that you just copied to clipboard in the pinata interface. Okay. So once you have done that, we can go ahead and create our first file uh, or Python script to upload the file. And it doesn't really matter what you call this, but we are going to, let's just go ahead and call it um, post.py. okay? And since we are going to be making a web request, a post request, let's just go ahead and import the request modules in Python and we will be using environment variables. So let's also offer, uh, open the, or import the OS package in Python. And we'll be accessing our environment variables. So let's just go ahead and import uh, load.env from the 
env package in Python. Okay, so now that we have that, um, you can see that we're missing some packages here. So let's go ahead and create our Python virtual environment. And by the way, as a prereq, make sure you already have Python installed. You can do Python dash dash version. We can see we have Python 3.11 here, as well as you would like pip, which is the Python uh, package manager. Okay. Uh, and by the way, you can do pip install virtual env if you don't already have it. We have it installed. Uh, so let's, clear, uh, let's create a uh, virtual environment called venv. I think I also misspelled virtual environments. Let's create a virtual environment called venv. And we can activate that by doing venv slash script slash activate on Mac and OS or Unix. It might be slightly different. It might be bin slash activate. Uh, but since we're on a Windows operating system, it's scripts. Uh, scripts left activating. So let's do that and let's go ahead and install a few packages here just to get started. Uh, so we're going to want requests and um, python.env, I believe it is called. It's, let's wait a few seconds for that to finish. Okay, it looks like it installed. And I'm actually going to switch my IDE to make sure to use the 3.11 so it detects that the imports are successful. Okay, so we're ready to start coding here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, load the environment variables, uh, which we can do by just invoking the load.env function. Um, and let's just go ahead and create a function called op upload to pinata, right? And for this case, we want to take a file path, which we will be using the test JPG. And we can also send in our API token. Um, and we want to be able to hit the um, URL for uploading to uh, IPFS or what is called pinning. So uh, to slide here, we can just go ahead and specify this URL here. Um, which you can take a moment to pause and copy. And I also have all the source code, so you can uh, copy this URL as well. And you can also dig through uh, the Pinata interface. It has it listed there. Um, and we also want to be able to pass the API token. And I think my code editor is, is auto um, finishing it, but we'll go ahead and type it out here. So we want to pass that JWT token which would be used to authenticate. Now we want to actually open the file because what's gonna happen is we're gonna open and read the file and then that's going to be sent over the over HTTP uh, for the upload. So um, I'll go ahead and auto generate this code here. Um, and let's actually just call this as, as file here. Make this slightly different. Uh, what we're gonna do is now make the API request um, we can do request.post. And what we're going to do is send in the URL as well as whichever files uh, you'd like to send. In our case, it's just going to be the uh, file along with the headers. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, auto, um, auto finish that as well. Okay. So essentially, what we're doing is getting the input file, which in our case is the test JPG, sending a post request to the Pinata URL for the uploads. And then now that we have that, we want to figure out what the response is. Um, so we can say return the response JSON. Okay, this should be enough for this simple function. Now we just need to do two last things. So we need to um, send in, whoops, we need to send in our uh, Pinata API token, which would be a constant, and we can use os.getemv and then Pinata J JWT token. And we also, of course, need the file path, which in our case is um, test.jpg. I think my code editor tried to be smart and try to suggest test on text. Um, okay, so we have that. We have our upload function. We have our file path and API token. Let's try to send this. What we're going to do is print 
and we're going to call our upload to pinata function and we could pass in the file path and api token as well okay since this function is returning the response json it is you know it is okay to just print the response because it will print the response json that we receive from pinata ipfs okay so let's just go ahead and try to run this and see what happens. So let's run pinata post.py. It might take a few seconds to load here. Let's just try to rerun it because I think my computer might have uh, frozen a little bit there. Okay, let's run pinata post. And right away we can see the file has uploaded. And what it gives us here actually, and this will be interesting to check, is it gives us the IPFS hash which we can actually verify without even going to Pinata. We can go to straight to IPFS and try to see here. Let's paste in this hash that we got from the output from Pinata and go to the URL IPFS.io slash IPFS slash the hash. And let's see what happens. Okay, awesome. So we can see that our gangster doge has uploaded to IPFS under this verified hash. And this is really cool because we just performed an immutable IPFS operation. So this sort of file storage could be used uh, for anywhere you need uh, distributed storage in a immutable manner, such as, uh, for example, like minting an NFT um, and uh, along with a variety of other use cases as well. So that's really cool. And one thing I'll actually quickly show you guys um, as a last point is how to um, retrieve all your uh, files from Pinata in, in, a, in a pretty simple way. Um, in case you, you know, wanted to sort of use it as a database, as in users might upload data and you, you might also want to retrieve data. And so luckily this is very simple to do. Let's create another file called Pinata Post, or sorry, Pinata Git. And let's actually make this pretty similar to our post here. And we're going to load the .env. And instead of making a post this time, uh, we can actually do a, let's just do, uh, do a simple git. And we can also take it out of this file opening here and remove the file path, right? So we can also take out this file section here. So really, we just want to make a get operation to this. And I think we have everything here. This looks good. Uh, we can go ahead and remove this file right here. We would not need that. Okay, and we, what we can also do as well is import pretty print because we're going to get a JSON list of all the files and it might be better to to print that out. Um, and what we can do is say uh, just return response JSON. Okay. Um, something you could also do is check if there's a 200 code uh, and only return the response. Otherwise, return, a, return an empty list. But in our case, we're just going to do simple simplified example here. And let's quickly just run this one. Okay. And, oh, whoops, I might have made a simple mistake here. I, I imp uh, imported pretty print, which gives you the module, not the actual function. So, really, what you'd want to do is call pretty print dot pretty print. Uh, it's a weird kind of Python thing, but let's try that out. Um, Okay, uh, so we might have one other issue. So we printed it to the wrong URL. So let me quickly grab the pinata, uh, pinata on the other screen. And again, I'll supply you these values. Uh, really, we want to call the pen list, not the post endpoint. And let's try it once more. Okay, cool. So from this simple script, we actually just did a git request. And you can see here all the files, in our case, it's just one file and in the rows is the file that we later uploaded. And you can see here that that actually matches with our test.jpg file. So awesome. So uh, we just follow this and this 
quick video, we create an account on Pinata, we retrieved an API an API token, and we use that to upload a file in, in a Python script programmatically um, and through a post request. And then we also did a Git request to retrieve that file, um, which could be later displayed for uh, displaying an image on a website, for example. Okay, and it's also important to know that this is going to this is going to IPFS, also known as the interplanetary, the interplanetary file system, which is a fully decentralized um, um, uh, database um, uh, de dependent on peer-to-peer uh, -peer nodes, and um, which has the sort of uh, fact of it being immutable. So once you place a file on IPFS or pin it, um, it is uh, unable to be changed. Okay. So I hope this video was helpful um, or you might have learned something. Uh, if it wasn't great, uh, be sure to leave a comment. Let me know how to improve. Uh, but thank you so much.